I was button testing for Great British Sewing Bee finalist. Hi, I'm Alex and this is Ginger Head Co, my sewing vlog. I'm a huge fan of Great British Sewing Bee, a British TV show for home sewists. I love the friendly atmosphere between the participants. They're not trying to win by all means. For me, the show represents what the sewing community is helping each other and appreciating everyone's skills and effort. I love Nicole Akung in the show. I try not to have favorites, but her style and fearless sewing was definitely very much my thing. And she's a strong, short woman. <laughs> what more can I say? So I was over the moon when I was picked to pattern test for her. I don't have the pattern release date and I will update you as soon as I have it. But Nicole said it was okay to talk about the pattern and show the makes. So here you go. The pattern is for sporty, relaxed fit sweatshirt to be made in stable knits such as sweatshirting, French terry, ponte roma, sports fleece. It has cuffs and neck band and a hem band and it's meant to be suitable for embroidery. Nicole's signature look, embroidered tiger, she was wearing this sweater in the show, can be perfectly replicated using this pattern. There are two views, one is short sleeve. View A is with long sleeves. And view B is with short, sort of, almost elbow length sleeves. The pattern comes to hip length, the sleeves are in the original pattern, there are bracelet lengths or almost elbow lengths. There are satin sleeves, they are sewn flat, in the instructions tell you to sew them flat, but they are just normal ordinary satin sleeves. The silhouette reminds me of kind of college sweatshirts or ready to wear jumpers that never seem to go out of fashion. It's got cuffs, it's got a neck band and it's got a hem band this is a pack, so this is not as per pattern. And the cuffs and the neck band and the hem band can be made out of the same fabric or they can be made out of ribbing. It comes in sizes from 6 to 24 in the UK. It's very easy to sew. It can be sewn on an overlocker or a domestic sewing machine. It's a perfect pattern for hacks. And even during the testing phase, many of us made our hacked versions as well as the ones that we were testing, so the proper ones. It's perfect for all sorts of embellishments, for color blocking, for applique, and whatever your creativity dictates you on that particular day. It's suitable for beginners as well. So far, I've made two of them. So the one that I'm wearing is made out of French terry, and I don't remember where I bought this French terry, but it's French terry with foxes. See, there are foxes. And I used orange ribbing to finish, so to make the neck band and to make the cuffs and to make the hand band. But this one is cropped because it's so easy to hack that after making my first one, I decided that I wanted a cropped version that is slightly oversized and very comfortable and just perfect for <laughs> having a day off. So I shortened this one by eight centimeters and I calculated my bands because I wanted my bands to be slightly different but this is just my personal choice. There was nothing wrong with the bands in the pattern. The first one that I made to test the pattern properly is this one and it's view A so it's got long sleeves or the sleeves are sort of just before well bracelet length so they end before your wrist and I made it as per pattern. I used the same fabric to, to make the cuffs and the neck band. I top stitched everything using the cover stitch because that's my method. And this is also a method that is suggested as an extra in the pattern. And I'm very happy with both. I like it more than I thought I would because I'm not sure if I would buy a pattern like that. Simply because I've got loads of patterns for sporty type jumpers for tops that are loose and relaxed and the perfect patterns that I could use with French terry or cotton jersey. But I like it a lot. It feels very much like ready to wear jumpers that I used to buy quite a few off. And it's got this perfect balance between boxiness and a good fit. It's as comfortable as a sweatshirt can be. I also like the fact that you don't waste fabric. The pattern is simple but it's designed in a way that you wouldn't waste too much fabric and you can make this pattern from less than a meter if you're a smaller size and probably well definitely not more than a meter and a half of fabric 
if you are a bigger size. I'm going to make one for Hedge Hubby just to check if he likes it because he likes it on me and it really feels comfortable. So I like that because I don't like waste and I don't like having fabric that is not really usable for anything else. I mean, I use my fabric scraps for, for other things, but it always creates a problem when you've got a lot of waste in different shapes. So this is almost zero waste. It's not zero waste, but it's getting there. And I want to make one thing clear. All the opinions in this vlog are my own. This is my honest confession. I wouldn't buy this pattern simply because I've got hundreds of similar ones, but I'm so glad I have made it and I will make a whole lot more. So even a basic pattern can still surprise me. Just to make sure that you know, Nicole has not asked me to talk about the pattern or to make a vlog. This is my idea. I wasn't paid for it. I'm not affiliated. I like the pattern. It made me happy. It is a very simple pattern. So if you've got loads of simple patterns, it's probably not for you, but I had a lot of fun and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to work with the great British sewing bee finalist. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.